Hi everyone, Chef Lisa here with Revive Wellness and My Viva Plan. Today I am making vegan zucchini brownies. This recipe can be found on My Viva Plan, so if you'd like to make it at home, you can check it out on there. This recipe is actually really easy to make, tastes great, and it's a great way to use up any garden zucchini you may have um, at this time of year. If you don't have garden zucchini, you can still make this recipe just as easily using zucchini from the store, so no worries there. And we're just gonna jump right on in here. So we're gonna start by mixing together some of our dry ingredients. So we have a smaller medium bowl here. I have some all-purpose flour already in the bowl here. To that, I'm going to add some whole wheat flour. I'm going to add some ground flax seed, some table salt and baking soda, and some unsweetened cocoa powder. Okay, we're gonna give that a good whisk here. It doesn't have to be perfectly homogenous here, but you do want to give it a good whisk. It's a fairly essential step so that we can get that baking soda evenly dispersed in here. Um, we do not wanna take a bite of our brownie and have a unmixed in pouch of <laughs> baking soda. That is very unpleasant. So we want to avoid that at all costs. So we're gonna give that a good whisk. There's gonna be some lumps from the cocoa powder in there a little bit, but that's okay. So we're gonna set that aside for now and we will come back to that. Now I'm gonna grab a ginormous bowl, probably too big for what I need, but I like to have more space to work with, so that's fine. We're gonna add some granulated sugar into this bowl, along with some neutral vegetable oil, so you can use pretty much any kind of vegetable oil here, canola oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, I actually also like to use olive oil here. It's not as neutral tasting, but I find that the flavor really complements chocolate, uh, the chocolate flavor of the brownie. So go ahead and use that if you want as well. I think I'm using avocado oil today. And some vanilla extract as well. And some mashed banana. You can either use mashed banana or unsweetened applesauce here. I'm using banana today. It's gonna add a little bit of moisture and a little bit of sweetness to the brownies. Now we're just gonna mix that up together here as well until it's kind of all incorporated. Until it's all kind of one homogenous mixture. All right, that looks good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our dry ingredients right in here. Now it's gonna look a little bit funny at this stage going to look pretty dry because as you may have noticed, there's actually pretty much no liquid ingredients in this recipe. So what I love about this recipe, it's quite um, simplified this way. In many recipes, you're going to find that for recipes for baked goods that have zucchini in it, it's going to call for you to actually squeeze out the excess moisture in the, in the zucchini, and then you're gonna add some kind of liquid ingredient into your batter like water or milk or buttermilk, something along those lines. What we're doing here today is we're actually not gonna squeeze out any of that moisture and we're gonna use that moisture to make our batter. So it really makes things a lot easier. So we're gonna add that in right now. And again, at this stage, it is going to look probably kind of dry. Might take a little bit of elbow grease to get that all mixed together. But what's gonna happen is, the batter is gonna hydrate over time and it's gonna pull out some of that moisture from the zucchini. So again, right now it's gonna look weird. Don't fret, don't worry, it's all gonna work out in the end. This is completely normal at this phase. Okay, so that looks like kind of, sort of evenly mixed to me. What we're gonna do now is I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes or so, I'm gonna walk away and come back and it should be a lot more hydrated and it'll look a lot more like a batter. So we'll see you then. All right, so it's been about seven or eight minutes now. I actually let it go a little bit longer, but as you can see here, this batter is looking a lot more hydrated and batter-like, um, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, if it has been five minutes and your batter still looks a little bit on the dry side, that's no problem at all. You just wanna let it sit for another three to five minutes, which I actually did today and it worked out just fine. Um, zucchinis can really vary in the amount of moisture that they have depending on their size, the growing conditions, 
and other such things. So sometimes we need to let it sit a little bit longer and that is no problem. Um, so now I'm gonna add my final ingredient, one of the most important ingredients, chocolate chips. Um, and this is going to give it obviously a lot more chocolatey flavor, a little bit more fudginess, which is always a good thing. So we're gonna give this one last mix. Now I like to add the chocolate chips as my final ingredient because it gives me one last chance to sort of mix up my batter and make sure that it's well hydrated. There's no pockets of dry flour in there or anything like that. Now that being said, you don't want to overmix your batter too much here or else we're gonna start to develop some gluten, which is undesirable here because that's gonna give us a more tough and chewy texture, more like a bread. And that's not what we want with brownies typically. We want them to be a little bit more tender. So that looks good to me. Now we're gonna transfer this to our nine by 13 inch baking dish which I have lined with some parchment paper. So I just gave it a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray so that the paper can stick and then put the paper in there. And now we're just gonna transfer our batter into our pan. Like so. I wanna get every last bit out of there. Then we're just gonna spread it to all the corners here as best as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we're gonna get it as best as we can. Now it's gonna look like not very much batter for a nine by 13 pan, but it's going to rise in the oven. So that's what we're looking for. Get that to the four corners here. Now the last step of course is baking. So we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and you wanna bake that until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. So that'll take about 25 to 35 minutes. The brownies are all done. I've let them cool for a little while here and I cut into a few and I must say they look and smell great. You do want to let them cool for about five to 10 minutes in the pan after you've taken them out of the oven. And then you can carefully transfer them to a wire cooling rack using your parchment paper as a guide and then just let them cool for a little while longer if you can wait that long <laughs> before you can get to the good part and slice into them. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.